Hi, I'm Nicholas, a three-time National Geographic B semifinalist from Pennsylvania. And it's time to learn geography now! Hey, geography peeps. So I'm actually dog-sitting another dog today. Uh, this is Goose. Say hi, Goose. You know what the best part about dog-sitting a dog that has a cone? I could do this. Hey, Goose, you want a treat? You want a treat? <laughs> so, as some of you guys know, if you've been following my social media stuff, uh, I actually visited my best friend in Monterey, uh, up north in California, and um, I took that time to actually do a little quick Q&A session with some of the questions that you guys have asked. So, here are some of the questions. So, I'm here at Point Lobos State Park and uh, with my buddy Nick. A lot of you guys asked, uh, what will I do when I finish all the internationally recognized sovereign nations? Uh, I'm probably going to do all the autonomous and... Uh, partially recognized regions. Um, wow, it's really dark. Tatiana Gibson asks, do you ever play Sporkle? Yes, I do. I play it all the time. I love it. Kept playing until I won the Every Country in the World game and I got it. I loved it. Under 15 minutes. Sporkle, I love that website. You guys check it out too. Sporkle. Oh, there's seals down there. There's so many of them. <laughs> He's just waving his flipper. <laughs> He's like, dig, 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 dig. I'm a seal. Oh, he's looking at me, he heard me. <laughs> Damien Thompson writes, is happiness just a word? Uh, no, there is a tangible reality behind the objective truth behind that word. So, no, it's not just a word. Doing it. Oh, I'm great. panning. Panning horrifically, like a rookie. How, how would you pan this thing? Show me how to pan. <laughs> Show me how to pan when you pan, <laughs> When you pan the first time, you went like this, you went like this, you went like this. You're right. Okay, good. All right, Nick, the pan master. I am the pan master. Grignar Leo Hayer, something Icelandic, says, hot places or cold places, obscure or well-known? Uh, hot places and obscure. I'm at Spyglass Hill Golf Course. One of the best golf courses in the world. <laughs> I'm driving a golf cart. Okay, stop. That's it? Oh, come on. No, you gotta catch up. You gotta catch up, Nick. You gotta catch up. Oh, this is so easy. So what do you think about me driving a golf cart, Nick? Terrible. Am I good? You're awful. Am I amazing? No. Look at the babies. Oh, oh stop. Really? Stop. Not a little okay. further. The trees are blocking the way. There's deers. Look at that. Can you see them? Oh. Little baby deers. Uh, Samuel Marins Pontes writes, uh, what country are you most anxious about? Well, Cyprus is coming up, and that's going to incur a lot of arguments. Uh, looking forward to that. Nice shot. Longyearbyen Svalbard writes, First thing that comes to mind when you think of Romania. Uh, I think of actually my friend Jen Bricker, who was born there, and she became a famous uh, gymnast, aerialist, performist, and she's actually, she was born with no legs. And uh, so yeah, that's what I think of when I think of Romania. Look her up, Jen Bricker. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 Moretto Pie! <coughs> Moretto Pie! A lot of people have been asking me this, uh, where did I get the outro music? Uh, my friend Bill Rocco actually wrote that song, and he came up with it in like five seconds. He just was like, I'm gonna whistle and I'm gonna play the ukulele. And um, that's where I got the outro music. All right, so I believe that was all the questions I did while I was up there, but I still have some time, so why not do a few more? Nicholas Schmieg, Schmieg um, writes, opinion on the National Geographic Bee. I think it's amazing, I think it's great how it's a great way to get kids really interested and involved in geography and all that stuff in world affairs. I think that's really cool and important. Funny story, I actually took part in my school's geography bee when I was like in sixth grade and uh, I totally failed on the very first question. Uh, I forgot what the question was, but I remember the answer was the Yellow River in China and I, I totally just bombed. This is a good question. Uh, Nicholas Babaya writes, are there any partially recognized states which you think should be fully recognized as independent? Um, uh, I, I think it would be absolutely amazing if Greenland would completely secede from Denmark and become the world's first and only independently recognized sovereign Inuit nation in the world. That would be so cool because there hasn't been one yet. And uh, if that happened, that would be pretty cool. And I mean, it's kind of, I don't know how close they are to doing that. They're kind of close, but they're still kind of dependent. But at the same time, if that would happen, that would be amazing. And I think it would really boost up their tourism sector and it would just help them out with all the uh, geopolitical uh, economics that they engage in. So I don't know, I think that would be really cool uh, if Greenland became independent. Yuri Meyer writes, try to pronounce these Dutch words. 
Netherlands is moeilijk. Hey, did I get that right? I don't know, my Dutch is terrible. I like this question. Uh, David Kesri writes, Tell us something about you, we know too little. Recently, I've taken up knife throwing as a hobby. Uh, another fun fact, I know how to play two songs on the piano. Just two. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough for now. Um, I just want to end this off by saying so. thank you so much to my Patreon patrons. Uh, I was able to make my last rent payment because of help from you guys, so thank you guys so much. I posted up some videos and extra behind-the-scenes content and bloopers for you guys on Patreon, so if you're a patron, check that out. Also, thank you so much to the people that have contacted me from the countries that I did, like Belarus and Belgium and Belize and even Benin. You guys contacted me and you gave me so much great information and I'm so thankful for that. You guys are amazing. Um, I put your name in the credits, so thank you guys so much. So one last announcement. I actually will not be able to film the next few episodes of Geography Now, um, the next countries. Um, what are they? Bhutan, Bolivia, Botswana, and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Um, I'm not going to be able to film those until later in June because the YouTube space is completely booked. I can't, nothing is open until like June 19th. So I won't be able to film anything until the middle end of June. So you guys are just going to have to wait a little bit, but however, in the meantime, I'm going to post up a lot of cool stuff on my Facebook page. Check out that stuff. And also, I want to make a fan appreciation video for you guys, because you guys have helped me out so much. And uh, yeah, you might be featured on the next update video. Thank you guys so much, Geographer peeps. I love you guys. Hope you have a good one. Goose says bye too. Yes, you do. Yes, you do.